Hello everyone, this is Zachar13, and in this video tutorial, I will be showing you all on how you can jailbreak your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad on the latest version of iOS 5. So, this jailbreak works for the iPod Touch 3rd generation and 4th generation, along with the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, and the iPad 1st generation. This unfortunately does not work for the iPad 2. Now keep in mind this jailbreak is tethered, which means that every single time you turn off your device, you will need to plug it back in and rerun Red Snow and select a certain option that is called Just Boot Tethered right now. Uh, but anyways, let's get right on into the tutorial. So there are two things you need. Um, the Red Snow program, which is what we will be using in this video, I will have two links um, to download, one for Mac and one for PC, in the description down below, so make sure to download that. And you will also need to download the 5.0 firmware file for your specific device. So as you guys can see, I got one right here, and I'll just uh, quickly show you that I do have 5.0 running, as you guys can see, newsstand. This is the final version, not a beta one um, or the Gold Masters edition. But as you guys can see, 5.0 right there. So I do have it plugged in. I'd recommend you guys having yours plugged in too. Uh, but, anyways, let's get right on into this. Okay, so you want to double click the zip file that you downloaded and it will open it. And as you guys can see, right there, you want to double click on Red Snow. And we'll just minimize this right here. And this is what it should look like. So basically what you want to do is you want to click Extras and click Select IPSW and select the 5.0 firmware file that you downloaded. And click Open. And it will tell you that it was successfully identified. So now you can click Back. And then you want to click Jailbreak. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure to install Cydia and you don't really need to enable battery percentage because that already comes with the um, actual firmware. So I'm just going to do install Cydia for now. And you want to click next. And now it's going to basically tell you this um, and once you click next, if anyone has used Redstone before who's watching this video, uh, basically it gives you a step by step um, instructions on how to put your device into DFU mode, but what makes it a lot easier instead of trying to follow their instructions with a little timer is to just put your device into DFU mode before clicking next. So that's what we will be doing. Alright, so to put your device into DFU mode, uh, you just want to make sure it's plugged in and turned on. And in case any of you guys cannot follow me when doing this, I will have full instructions down below on how to put your device into DFU mode. But anyways, make sure it's plugged in and you want to hold down the power button and you want to slide the power off. So once it is turned off, you just want to hold down the power button for three seconds and then press the home button and leave both of them down for seven seconds and then you want to let go of the power button and leave down the home button um, until Red Snow recognizes your device. So I'm just going to do it here. And I'm going to let go of the power button. I'm going to leave down the home button. And if you have done this correctly, your device's screen should stay black. And Red Snow will skip the step-by-step -step process and it will get straight to the jailbreak stuff. So, here is my device right here. And it should say something like that on your device. And it should say done on the program right there. And we will just wait till this finishes. Okay, so now it should so show this little logo right here. Alright, so now your device should simply reboot. Uh, so let's wait for it to finish booting. Alright, so after the process is finished, you will slide to unlock and you should notice that Cydia is actually white and it doesn't have the actual Cydia icon and it's unusable. So I'm going to be showing you on how to fix that. So now once again, you want to make sure your device is plugged in and you want to hold down the power button. 
and turn it off. So then once it is turned off, then you simply want to open up Red Snow again. So I'm just going to go back to the folder and you want to double click Red Snow. And this process that we're using to um, get Cydia fully functioning is the same process that you have to run whenever your device is turned off. Because remember, this is a tethered jailbreak. Uh, so basically what we're going to be doing is you want to go to Extras and you want to click Just Boot. And now we're just going to be doing the same thing as we did before and we're going to be putting our device into DFU mode. So once again, hold down the power button for three seconds and then hold down the home button and leave both of them down until the Apple logo goes away. And then let go of the power button, leave down the home button. And Red Snow should detect your device as you guys can see right here. And now it's just going to boot it back up. And as you guys can see, it should say done right there. And your device should turn back on. And as you guys can see, after you have done the just boot method, then Cydia should not have a white icon and it should be fully functioning as you guys can see right there. So this has been the tutorial on how to jailbreak your iOS 5 device. Um, using the Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 4 program. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like the video by clicking the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my second channel, Other to Hacker 13, my gaming channel, Spirals Gaming, and also follow me on Twitter. Those three links will be in the description down below. Please click the annotation on the screen now to watch my previous video if you haven't already. Once again, guys, thanks for watching the video, and see you all later.